Not sure what these are. Oh, that I don't think I've ever seen. Is this a common hero soul stone? Hello everyone, Linker here with the beginner's guide to data mining AFK Arena. This is right, you can do it even if you don't know how to code. I'll show everyone how to start looking in the game to possibly find new heroes that are being introduced, events that are coming up, secret content and more. This is gonna be just the basics, but of course you can do much more on your own, especially if you know how to code, but you don't have to, so stay tuned. you'll need a few tools. I'll link them all in the description. I'm using Windows for this because it's what most of my audience is using, but you could probably do it on other platforms as well. You'll need Java because we'll look at Android version of the game on our computer. Android uses Java and some of the tools that are made for Android also use it. You don't need to know how to work with Java, but you'll need a version of it on your computer. Next is a tool that's called Jadex GUI. It does what's called decompiling, but before you run away, listen, it's just deconstructing a file that was made to run on the device to the code that's behind the file, like how is it working, what is it using, very important for data mining. Next and lastly is an optional one, it's called Visual Studio Code or another IDE. And what this one does is just displays things nicely, it's allowing you to easily browse through the files when you data mine, but you don't have to do this. Let's start off step by step. First, we're gonna get the Android application version of the game on our computer. Android is the simplest in my opinion because the result of decompiling is much more readable when you data mine. Now we're going to be able to download a version of the game that's not the newest. The best practice for finding content is probably doing the newest, even the test server version. However, there's one part of this video that is protected, so we're gonna do it on an older version instead. To do this, we can go to what's called the mirror site, like the one you see here. These are sites like Google Play or the Play Store, but they hold copies of the applications and allow you to download them freely even on your PC. So FPK Pure is one of them and here we can find AFK Arena. We're just searching for AFK Arena over here. We can go to this right now and then we can look at the version. Specifically I'm gonna look at 1.40 for my own needs and after you click this so it's downloading. You did the first step. Next, we'll want to open Jadex and decompile the file. This is as simple as opening this thing here after you downloaded it, finding the file that we downloaded, opening and saving all the content separately. So I'll just show you how I do it. I open file over here. We're gonna go to the AFK Arena uh, version over here. I hope this is nothing private right now. Anyways, uh, you open it. This thing is gonna take a second and as you can see, this right here is the result. Now I'm gonna teach you all the coding you have to know for this under 20 seconds. Android applications are built in a file format called APK, which is basically a zip file. In the resources, you'll see assets that the code uses, meaning images, text, audio samples, everything. And in the sources section, you'll see logic and the code of the application. So when you're looking at the resources when you data mine, this is gonna be when you're doing something that's called asset data mining. And when you look at the source Sources section, you're doing something that's called logic data mining. I think asset is more simple to start with, so we're gonna start with that. Now, be sure to give this a try on your own. We're gonna just go ahead and save. So right over here, <laughs> avoiding any kind of private information over here. So right over here, you can just save all of this content right here to folder that you made. I'm specifically gonna pick this little folder and we're just gonna click save. Right, it's gonna take a second. And with this, you're ready to data mine. So all I did here is I opened the folder that I saved this to. Now you could either look at this on your own through these folders, but at this part, we're gonna use what's called an IDE, the visual store you think, to look at it more comfortably. And I'm just gonna drag this here. All right, and I just opened a different version of the APK over here. It's gonna be 1.40 point something. Now here we're just gonna start off with the resources because that's the folder that we know we're doing the asset data mining on. We're gonna go, I'm a little bit familiar with this, but of course you can go virtually anywhere. We're gonna go to assets, we're gonna go to res, and then we can look at virtually anything. We can look at the UI, for example. So as you see over here, mm-hmm, I already opened these. These are the frames. These files over here are all the frames in the game. So you can just virtually browse through them and see if you see anything that's new and interesting. Every so often you do see something here. Let's see it. Hero icons. Oh-ho! This one I think I know already, but the names always keep cracking me. See the Bard Battle versus Bard. I think that's the ultimate icon. DR. Lion Juggernaut. I knew who that is. <laughs> Instantly knew who that is. So apparently they call Brutus in the game file. Lion Juggernaut, and Uhlan is gonna be a Strilda. That is interesting. 
Okay, all right, and we see in the weather over here. These are, I think, are the weather conditions in the game. So this, I think, is Kazard, and this is Ice Shimira, I'm not sure. This is probably gonna be Solis, and this, I think, is Kriath. Interesting, maybe this one will come. Okay, I'm not sure what these are. Oh, that I don't think I've ever seen. Is this a common hero soul stone? Coming up to the game, you never know. Okay, skills. Oh, it seems like they saved some of the skills files over here, but definitely not all of them. Okay, okay, I think this is pretty interesting. Let's try another folder. All right, and I think I found something pretty interesting. I think I found the effects that the game uses for the engine, maybe. I think these are some attacks or maybe animations that they're using, and they have the sprite offset size, source size, all kinds of stuff like that. Of course, some of it is encoded, so a little bit hard to see, but I think Yinling is the name of Namora. Let's see if we can learn anything interesting here. All right, now I've been looking over here for quite a bit. I'm finding some interesting stuff that's more code oriented, but I found something that looks interesting to me, so we're gonna look at it together. Let's start with the UI res panel folder. So under the panel, I think you'll see some stuff that you see on the UI. This looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna explore this with you, but of course you can do all of this on your own and find your own content. I really like the idea of the data mining community growing. So let's see. Under bag, we see card EG. And does anyone know what that's from? Maybe the store somewhere? Mainline, banner task, BG shop. That I think I remember as an old shop. Oh, these are some shop backgrounds. Would you look at that? In quests, do the quests have this kind of shade? Maybe, maybe. Oh, okay, these are chapter backgrounds, I think, for some of the fights. Clouds, cloudy arena. These are definitely not all of them, but this is pretty interesting. It might be an older version that remained or a newer that are gonna introduce, you never know. These ones seem pretty old to me, but it's always interesting to look in the game and see what kind of files they can come up with. I think that's the point of data mining. You don't always know why, but you definitely see what. And I think that's pretty fun to see. Okay, something in the chat for player info page. Maybe that's the thing that they display while doing it. I have never seen these, but I'm not sure what they are. We're looking for anything that looks super informative, like new hero stuff or something we'll recognize. Now, sometimes it takes time. Sometimes you won't exactly understand. I think this is super informative. These might be Ascension, I think. I think these might be Ascension kind of background. They call it Evolve. Oh, and I know that what that is. I think we all know what that is. Okay, okay. But I think maybe this used to be somewhere else. Yeah, someone told me. Yeah, that's interesting. So that's the old map, maybe. All right. Looking good over here. And you could just keep looking to find these folders. Like the game files are huge. You're talking about tens of tens of folders to find all kinds of interesting stuff. There's newer versions, older versions all around the place. So just browsing these, you could do this in your folder, of course, if you don't have that, I think is pretty interesting to do. Okay, and these I know what they are, that's the artifact pages. Oh, that's pretty interesting to see you guys. Maybe I can override these files. So this is pretty complex, but when you data mine, you could override some of the files, that would be funny. And we see map normal. I don't know what map normal is. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Looks pretty interesting. Oh, when we, I think we know what that is. Yeah, we good. New hero. Oh, I think it's just introducing new hero. <laughs> Imagine the dev saved a new hero file just here, just to mess up with everybody. And then they didn't introduce it like Silas that they're just not introducing. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think they meant to have this icon every time that the player levels up in the game, as you can see, they have a folder called player level up, icon level up BG. So that's probably the background for every level up you get. You get those amazing 10 diamonds. <laughs> and alongside it, you had this reinforcing icon, which is nice. Raid, mm, these are too blurry. I don't like it. Raid in trace, that one's a little interesting. I ah, see the backgrounds, these are just fragmented. 
the town looks pretty cool. Maybe there's something cool here. I leave it up to you guys to find recharge. I don't know what that is. Shop. Ooh, shop Valentine banner. Would you look at that, guys? We're officially data miners. So in this version, they already saved the Valentine event, and if you could see it ahead of time, you would know what this would look like. I'm not sure if this one actually premiered in the game, but it's pretty cool content to see with official art from the game that I bet not everybody at least has access to right now. And we, because we're the pro data miners that we are, we do. These seem a little bit interesting. Let's just look at that. All right, all right. Now with that, I think I want to welcome you to the data mining community. If you followed through with me, you're officially able to data mine. Feel free to give this a try on your own. Now we're going to stop with the Asha data mining here for a second because I feel like I've introduced it pretty fairly. And we're going to move on to something slightly more advanced. That's the logic data mining. This means the sources. And we'll do one quick example of that. And then you'll be officially versed in all the basics that you'll need to know. In the resources, you'll have something that's called Android manifest XML so let's just look at that now this is easy to read only because uh, we use the JADX tool for decompiling hang on with me I know this is looks like a lot of gibberish but you only really need to look for something very specific here now this file tells the device what to do with the application once it is open and hang on with me I know this looks like a bunch of code but there's only one thing you really need to know once you see these little things main and launcher you see these two these mean that that specific part of the logic is what opens when the game file is open so this file lets the system know what to do with the application and here it's telling it okay so when the application is open start running that thing so we're gonna quickly look at that uh, sh lilith game age game app activity app activity there we go. So I know this looks like code, but hang on with me. As you can see, the very first component that's opened in from the manifest, we know what it is, is doing what's called extending another thing. Now, I know this is a little bit code heavy, but just hang on because I'm going to show you something pretty quick. This thing is running whenever the first one is open. So this means that whenever the application is opening, the file that I'm going to run here is executed. And as you can see here, just something pretty cool to know. It lets us know how the game was developed. It's called Cocos. It's a very specific platform. We can look at it in just a moment. But I had something very specific I wanted to show you, and it's that. This is a little mechanic that's built for how Cocos, which is a platform that AFK Arena was developed on, would detect if a device is an Android emulator or not. So we know this logic, which means that Lilith has access to it too. I'm pretty sure they're aware of this, which means that they probably are aware of whether or not are you running an emulator and they're probably fine with it. And if they ever do detect emulators, maybe there's something you could do to fake these, but I'm getting a little bit carried away. So with that, I just want to quickly wrap up everything here. This was an introduction to data mining, looking at the very basics of assets and logic. Of course, there's much more advanced stuff you could do, like dynamic data mining from a pack newer version, but we can leave that to another advanced video. I hope this helped you approach this topic and demystify it a little bit. Even if you aren't extremely familiar with coding, I hope like at least the assets, you know how to approach it. And thank you. Peace.